Sketch and welcome back to a new video. We are just out here outside for once uh, with my laptop here and uh, we're just going to be doing a chill and chat with me as you can see up there kind of. <laughs> I should really make that like black or something or like something that makes it more stand out-ish I guess. But um, yeah we're in my, my little uh, you know little patio area where I like to chill and just kind of reflect on life and everything and um, I figured I'd come out here and just kind of chill and chat with you guys and uh, you know see what conversations come up and talk on here for probably like a half an hour to an hour so we'll see how long I talk for but uh, before we get started be sure to like the video if you like these kind of videos and also feel free to subscribe as I do these style kind of videos not very edited just kind of us chilling out together um, I just feel like it's more authentic rather than the super cutting up videos I don't know it's just something that I've been really enjoying is just showing my authentic self to my audience so um, but yeah, you're in, uh, in my backyard. You guys have been here before, unless you're new here. Welcome or welcome back. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to set everything up over here. I will be chilling with some... It's not this stream that it says on there. It actually is a different one, because <laughs> I used the container from my last one for this. So, um, but yeah, I'm just going to be... Pack, pack, pack in. And uh, let's first, before we get into this conversation, take the first hit. So, I'm gonna do that. Lovely. So, um, also be sure, make sure you have your water. It's always good to have your water, and especially if you have a bong. Make sure you bring water outside to, or wherever you smoke or chill to basically be able to change your bong water. I talked about this on my Snapchat uh, story. For those of you that don't follow it, link in bio or link in the description for my link tree for you guys to go follow me on every everywhere that you can find me. But yeah, basically. I'm learning more and more about stoner self-care, which you guys have probably no idea about, um, or maybe you do, but I did not know much about this topic because, you know, yes, I have another sibling of mine that does chill as well, but we don't chill together. Um, my brother and I are just kind of like, you know, do our own thing when it comes to this. Um, usually, typically, it's, you know just something I, I tend to do on my own or whatever <coughs> so because of that I wasn't really you know educated with the right you know kind of what I'm supposed to clean it with what am I supposed to do about my lung care stuff like that so these are just some things that I learned recently and I will actually link down below the video that I learned all of this from because she's an awesome like she's starting her own thing like this too where she just chills and uh, chats about things, so I will leave her down below. It's Mozart. Um, definitely check her out. Uh, link in the description uh, so you can see these tips and other things that she talks about over there. Uh, I've been really enjoying that series, but um, yeah, so I figured I'd kind of rebuttal what she, a little bit of what she talks about, and then get into some, some other topics in case this isn't your thing. Um, but yeah, stoner self-care tips. I highly recommend you to change your water every day, your bong water. Um, it's super important and you don't know how much bacteria lingers in there until you find out it's disgusting. So be sure to do that. Also make sure to have a regiment to clean your bongs uh, once a week. Ooh, there's a bee around here. Um, you not go near my water, please? That's my water. Just leave it be. Leave the bee be. Go away. Okay, 
it went away. Sorry. Uh, I also learned recently watching with my niece on Katie's Classroom, if you guys have heard of that educational show here on YouTube, I learned that if you just leave them be, any insect, any bug, they won't bother you. So that's something I've been putting into my regimen as well, something that I learned. Um, I mean, I kind of knew that already, but just, you know, even with the bigger bugs or whatever, just leave them be and they'll leave you be. So. Just let nature do its thing, you know? So, there's that. Oh, is there bubbles? Or what is that? There's something floating in the sky. Anywho, I'm going in a million directions. Let's start off with the stoner self-care tips. So essentially, um, long story short, make sure you clean your bongs. Make sure you change the bong water. And also make sure you take care of your lungs. Those were like the biggest three things. I don't know why the bong water never like sunk with me. I think it's because mine's not glass. Mine is just silicone. So I never get to see the water on a regular basis. So if I don't see it, it's not going to get done. That's just my mentality that I've lived through in life. And I mean, it seems to be working uh, for the most part, but except for this situation. Um, so because I wasn't seeing it every day and it wasn't a glass piece, I think that was my issue. And so because of that, I have made it a daily ritual to just dump out the old, put in the new, um, and then also, you know, making sure I clean it once a week. So that's super important if you are a type of person that smokes out of that. If you smoke out of a pipe, I recommend just cleaning that out once a week, you know, pretty simple there. Um, and then for lung care, I found out that tea is actually very beneficial for lung health. Um, I know that kind of makes sense already because of the fact that, you know, typically when you're sick, you tend to have, hot, like, say if you have a sore throat or something, you typically tend to go towards, like, a, a hot tea with lemon and honey. Like, that's, like, the typical go-to tea and all, like, mostly the decaffeinated tea, I should say is what's going to help with your lungs. Um, detox tea, definitely recommend that. I'm actually, I actually ordered some uh, last night because I needed to order some groceries for today. So I'll be getting that later and trying out a detox tea. I think it's by Yogi Tea, if I'm not mistaken what the brand is, but yeah. Um, I'll definitely have to uh, show you guys once I get it. Um, in another video maybe or something let me know if you want to learn more about tea and stuff but it's um yeah so that's definitely been something that i've been trying to learn and to try to find balance with it like not just constantly like taking a hit after hit kind of a thing like right now i just haven't smoked for the past little bit just to like talk to you <laughs> but also like in a regular you know and it's just me out here i typically put on some music or um, as you can see behind me, uh, right there, <laughs> the other ones are on the front patio, but I keep bubbles back here. Bubbles are so, like, just a mindful thing to do, and, you know, no one's gonna complain about bubbles going into their yard, like, it's just gonna pop eventually, you know? So I tend to like doing that to help with my, like, breathing exercises. That has been something that's been helping me a lot, too. So figured I'd share that for any of you that didn't know that or would like some extra tips on that. Um, but let's talk about some other things that are chill, super chill related, um, considering not everybody that watches my channel is, you know, likes to chill, if you catch my drift, or likes to garden, if you like to say it like that. Um, no, recently, I mean, honestly, I've just been really enjoying just doing little hobbies here and there, and also just... Um, you know, I'm, as you guys know, I'm still kind of in this transit transitional period. Um, I'm so excited to give you guys an updated studio tour sometime within the next six months. Um, let's just say some behind the scenes work is happening and I will be getting a bigger space for Star Sketch. Not too, too bigger, but just big enough for me to have you know, Star Sketch have its own dedicated space rather than just my bedroom 
being that and you'll, you'll see all that when it happens so get excited for that there'll be a studio tour there'll be a, i'm going to introduce more gaming to the channel i'm going to um basically just kind of create this and i'm going to bring in more spirituality that's something i've definitely been lacking lately and what i've been bringing back into my life lately is my spiritual practices before i get into that let's take another hit Ooh, there we go. Um, so yes, spiritual practices, super important. Meditation, super important. Journaling and writing out certain things. I have noticed that a big thing that's popped up in my life recently has been lingering about my past. And if you guys don't know, I used to post videos about like my mental health updates and such. But I haven't really been super, like, open about that as of recently. I haven't done, like, a updated, you know, mental health update or anything. I just like to keep my some of my life more private now, now that I've kind of figured out the boundaries of YouTube. Um, but it's not like I'm, like, keeping everything out of my life, or everything private in my life on here. You guys see a big majority of my life, to be completely honest, but more personal stuff when it comes to other people in my life. I like to keep to myself and not just put it out on the internet for other people to hear. Um, so that's been something I've been working on, but because of that, well not really because of that, but just recently I have just been feeling kind of reflecting on my past a lot and being triggered by certain things related to my past that I didn't think were still impacting me. So one thing about me, little story time here, I won't give names, I won't give too much specifics, but I do want to tell you my experience just because I feel like it might help some people. Um, so as you guys know, I've been in and out of relationships a lot on this channel. You guys have seen a lot of, if you've been following me for the longest time, you've seen the ups and downs of my relationships and the people that I've introduced to this channel. like. Um, some people I used to have back in high school that would be featured on this channel. I basically privated slash deleted a lot of those videos just because I don't associate with those people anymore. Um, but especially one sticks out to me that really impacted me uh, as a person. Well, two of them, actually, I should say. Uh, two, like, romantic relationships that I've introduced you guys to the channel. This is not Anthony, by the way. You guys, I love Anthony, and he's the best, like, relationship I've ever been in. I'm not talking about him. This is the past. This was, like, at least two years ago. Like, I'm talking, like, two to five years ago at least. So, just to keep that in mind. Um, me and Anthony are good. <laughs> uh, I love him to death. But, anywho, um, it's some of the people that I've been in a relationship with in my past are still impacting me today and I've noticed that in my relationship with Anthony that basically I will just kind of say sorry a lot I'll put a lot of apology to certain things thinking that things are my fault when honestly it's just things out of my control or things that are not really my fault do you guys hear that high-pitched noise oh it went away I don't know if there's like a frog or something near here and that's making a loud noise. Um, but yeah. Anywho. So, but long story short, I've had a past relationship that didn't end so well. It ended well at first. It was a mutual breakup of sorts. But I soon realized afterwards that they had cheated on me. And not only did they cheat on me, but they cheated on me with a minor. And there was nothing I could really do to really stop that. It's been past, you know, it's been years and years and years and years since that happened. Um, I never brought it to the, you know, police or anything like that just because I didn't want to be a part of that in my life. However, the scars and the deep wounds that it's really started to affect me recently. And I don't think I really took the time after that happened and going into the relationship that I am in now 
I never really took the time to really kind of heal that wound, to heal that um, part of me that occurred and the hurt that I felt and the, you know, depression that I felt, the anxiety, the, um, you know, worriedness that I felt even trying to be in any sort of relationship, not just romantic, but even friendships even. And it really just kind of hit me hard with that. And so recently I've been trying to kind of heal that wound a little bit, go into my shadow self, you know, that big, and I didn't get, I didn't get one of those journals that you see on TikTok, you know, the shadow work journal things. No, I've been doing my own deep reflection, asking myself the questions that I'm sort of afraid to ask. That's something I've noticed recently too. I've just kind of numbed out the feeling rather than actually dealing with the feeling. And that doesn't really help because... If you really think about it, numbing the feeling is like pushing dust under a rug. It's still going to be there. Just because you don't see it or that you don't feel it doesn't mean it's actually not still there. So I've been really trying to work on that, that deep, those, not just that scenario, but other past deep wounds, especially from my teenage years. Um, I've just been really trying to do some inner work. So that's why I haven't really been posting a lot of YouTube videos, that's why I haven't been, um, like I've just been more private about things, I guess, just because there's a lot that you guys don't know of what happened in my past, things that I um, can 100% say most of them were my own doing, and some of them were not my own doing. and. Um, I've had to learn how to become the best version of myself and it's been a very tough journey. It's been a very long, tough journey, but to be where I am today, I will say I did have a meeting with some somebody. I'm not going to mention like their association with me or anything, but just to sh kind of share my experience. Someone recently had told me um, that I haven't changed a whole lot over the last year. And when they said that to me, I wanted to say, what do you mean? Like, I wanted, to, like, looking back on it now, like, you know, those situations where you're like, oh, I should have said something, or, oh, I should, it's, I wish I did this, or whatever. Um, I didn't. Instead, I was just like, uh, like, my first response was just, oh. Like, it kind of just kind of made me kind of sink my heart and my stomach, like that sinking feeling. And then they went on and on about how, yes, there's some aspects of my life that are doing well, but there's others that are not. And I was like, oh, like, I just didn't know what to say in that moment. Like, what what would you have said? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What would have you had said if somebody went up to you and told you that? It was very hard on me. It was very, um... And this all just happened within the last few days, so just to let you know, this is like a fresh feeling. Um, so when I heard that, it one, motivated me to do things that I needed to do, aka like apply for a job and, you know, um, look into driving schools, things that are like on my radar, like my goal setting stuff. But then it also kind of made me feel like shit. I'm not going to lie. It made me kind of feel like, you know, this person, this particular person that told me this is supposed to be someone that's on my team, in a sense, like somebody that's like supporting me and stuff. So like for them to tell me that, I'm like, that's crazy to say that to somebody like that, like that you just don't see any progress and then go to say, but blah, 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 this and this. It's like, Kind of a little bit of a slap in the face. For that, I'm gonna take a hit to that. <laughs> that felt good. But no. And then I told my parents the situation, because most of the time, I will admit, my parents are my best friends, uh, besides Anthony. Um, but he's my boyfriend, while well, my parents are my parents. And so, when I don't see Anthony during the week, I don't automatically just tell him things that happen right away. 
I will text him about it, but it's not, like, in the full details like this where it's, like, we're actually talking, you know? Um, and long story short, let's just say, um, I told my parents about it and they were very upset with the words that this particular person chose to say to me. And, uh, they told me not to even, you know, like, don't even listen to that person. Like, it's not something that you should be worrying about. Um, you are making progress. And I do see it in myself that I have made progress in the last two years that are substantial to my personal growth. They might not be tangible things that are like, you know, <coughs> excuse me, let me just take a sip of water here. I've been talking a while. It may not be things that, you know, I could say that I got a degree in something or that um, I purchased a car or like more like a tangible items, meaning like physical items. They're not physical things. They're more mental and physical and emotional, spiritual, like those things count too. And I want you all to know out there, whoever's watching this, whoever decides to watch this, whether now in 2024 on September 4th, or in the future, uh, in like 2034 even, I want you all to know this. Any progress is amazing progress, no matter how big or small it is. If you decided that day, say if you're one of those people that likes to eat Cheetos or something, and instead of eating Cheetos, you decide to eat an apple, celebrate that win. Celebrate all the wins. Celebrate each and every single little win and be like, yes, I did that. That is awesome. I have made progress and try to, you know, kind of keep going with that because there's so many times where I have heard from people that they look at people and they see, they see no physical pro uh, progress in terms of tangible items, but mental work and spiritual work is 1,010% progress in and of itself. It's maturing. It's becoming a man or a woman, like being more adult about things. And I just kind of baffled my mind that this particular person in my life decided to say that to me. So it's like, no. So my message here to you is, is that any win is a good win, for sure. No matter how big or small it is. Um, but that was a big thing. Not that I didn't talk about it with anybody else besides you all. I have, like I said, I talked to my parents about it. I talked to Anthony about it. But I hope that that message is clear for everybody out there. And I wanted to make that situation, for me, what I went through with that, I am starting to want to share my, or uh, turn my pain into art, aka turn what I have been through into something that I can motivate others to change, to not have to go through, to not make the decisions that I made, to all of that and share more of my experiences. It's been something that's been coming up a lot in my own introspections and in my own head, I guess, and my own tarot readings and such that I do. And it's been coming up a lot. So I hope that that little story, that experience that I went through may have helped somebody out there to realize that any progress is progress because if that was somebody else in my shoes that had like say like bad mental illness or something, they would take that and probably not be motivated to do anything that day or possibly even days. Like I'm glad that it was told to me because I am a very strong woman. I'm a very, you know, I'm not going to like just take things like that and be like, yeah, that's true. Well, but no, I know how much I've grown. You got, you all have seen how much I've grown. I may not see how much you've grown, but you gotta let yourself know that you have grown in one way or capacity. Everyone grows. 
at their own pace. Like, you are not the same person you were five years ago. I'll think about this. So 2019, I was definitely not the same person as I am today. <laughs> 2019, I wasn't, you know, a daily stoner. I was not into spirituality at all. I think in 2019, what was I doing five years ago? When I was 22, I it was on the internet a lot. I will admit, I was on the internet a lot and trying to make, you know, um, internet friends work and all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't. I'm, I'm just going to say this. Internet friends, you need to have some kind of boundary with them. I love my internet friends. I do have some of you that are subscribers of mine that I do consider a friend of sorts. But it's not like you know me super personally. And it's not like you know every single detail in my life. You only just see what you see on here. And so I want to remind you of all that. That yes, internet friends can be friends, but they're not 100% your people, as I should say. Um, it's not like that they're not your people. They just don't live in the same world that you do. I mean, they do. You know what I mean. You're not physically near each other um, all the time to know physically, like, let me give an example. I had an internet friend since high school, and I met him about two years ago in person for the very first time ever, and I was so excited about it. I was like, I'm going to finally meet my internet best friend for the first time in person and actually, you know, hang out with them think that they're going to be like the bestest friend and things are just going to flourish friendship wise obviously <laughs> flourish in terms of my personal life let's just say the opposite of that happened um I found out more about this person than I needed to I found out they weren't 100% the person that they told me they were online you could be whatever the hell you want to be online I'm not saying I'm lying to all of you or anything, it's just, it's scary. Like, there's some people out there that really just put on this facade or put on this, you know, act just for people on the internet. So you can't always trust people on the internet. There are good people. I've met a handful of people through this platform that are amazing people. However, they're all not like that. So I just want you to all be careful out there when it comes to making internet friends. Um, Especially because this person that I was internet friends with, we only lived about 15 minutes away from each other. Yeah. We lived 15 minutes away from each other, and we decided to meet in person finally after 10 years of being friends. 10 or 15. I forget. I think it was about 10. It was about 10 years. And I finally meet him in person. And my god, things turned south after that happened. And I'm not saying that's going to be like that for every single friendship out there. You just gotta be more open about who you are to people that you actually want to get close with on the internet. And I thought I was, but they weren't. They weren't as open and honest about their life. They weren't honest and open about their feelings either. A.K. I did not know that they had a thing for me the whole time. And they wanted to wait to meet me in person until they finally, quote, fixed their life. Their life wasn't fixed. You know? Nobody's life is really truly fixed, you know, until like way later in life. Like until you're, even when you're retired and even when you're old, your life might not be completely perfect to the way that you want it to be. So just remember that. The life isn't perfect. People might be sketchy and people might say things that really put you down, but they don't know your story. They really don't know your story. Let's take another hit. <laughs> But yeah, I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts about those things and come on here, have a few hits with you all, kind of just talk about life and how, uh, how shitty it can be, how good it can be, how weird it can be sometimes too. And like, just, you gotta just enjoy the white, the waves, enjoy the waves, 
of going up and down in life because it's never just going to be the same. If everything was just the same, life would be boring. So it's good to know to just kind of flow with whatever comes at you, you know? Um, but I don't think I have any more things to say. I'm getting pretty lit. I'm probably just going to finish this bowl on my own and then probably go inside and figure out something for lunch and whatnot. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more talking videos like this, or maybe one day I could like go live like this. It's just going to be difficult. I actually do not have Wi-Fi out here, so but thankfully the recording software that I use on my computer doesn't require um, internet or anything, which is pretty nice. However, if I were to stream, I would definitely need to have internet access for sure. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I do have a hotspot I could use, but it might be a little bit choppy out here. Who knows? That's something I've thought about doing, but at the same time with the, you know, constrictions of this thing over here, um, on the internet right now, it's a little bit difficult to do that. So maybe we'll wait until things are more, you know, kumbaya in the internet world when it comes to za and chilling and gardening and smoking the devil's lettuce, as some people would say, uh, no matter what it is you know. But I hope that you all have a fantastic day, whether it's Wednesday, September 4th, 2024, or any time in the future. Um, just remember three key things. Let's, if we ever do these again, I'm definitely going to do this. Three key takeaways, three key lessons learned in this video. One, if you are a stoner, take care of yourself, take care of your lungs, take care of your devices. Okay, that's number one. Number two, number freaking two is um, going back to the conversation of the progress. Any progress is progress, whether it's negative or positive. Remember that. And number three, you can't always trust people on the internet. <laughs> You can trust some people to an extent. Make sure you have your boundaries. But of course, you can't always trust, trust people from the internet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys all in the next one next week. Bye, guys.